Each year, Jacqueline Edwards follows the same ritual, sings the same song, and ties ribbons remembering John F. Kennedy. I think and I believe that he was one of our best presidents in my mind and heart. A lunchtime crowd flocked the grassy knoll to look at the assassination site at the school book depository in Triple Underpass, but mostly to remember. You never thought the President of the United States would have gotten killed 55 miles from your hometown. And, you know, he was loved by everybody. Kennedy newspaper, Kennedy historical. While street vendors hawked Kennedy memorabilia, material discussing assassination theories, questions remain unanswered. Uh, the majority of the people in the United States want to know the truth. And I think uh, President Bush, with the flick of his pen, he, we could find out instantly. Visitors from several states and dignitaries from Indonesia toured the Kennedy Memorial, took pictures, and placed flowers in memory of the fallen president. While mourners still flock to Dallas to honor John F. Kennedy, reporters who covered the assassination are concerned about the city itself. Even after 28 years, they are not convinced Dallas has recovered. It was the most exciting thing. Washington Times reporter Hugh Ainsworth covered the assassination, Oswald's capture, Jack Ruby's trial, and wrote hundreds of articles while working for the Dallas Morning News. I think the biggest thing in the world that I, I can point to that shows that the recovery is not there yet is the fact they rolled over when Oliver Stone said he was going to do an authentic movie. And I use that in quotes, authentic. They opened up the town. Well, Jay, I was standing at the uh, trademark. Veteran WFAA-TV newsman Burt Shipp also covered the assassination. He's convinced Dallas paid a price, carried a stigma for years, but now believes the city has recovered. It's like a death in the family, then. You, uh, each day puts more space between you and the event, and pretty soon uh, time takes care of all of it and heals uh, any wounds that Mr. Oswald put in us. Still the mourning continues for Jacqueline Edwards, for millions who loved John F. Kennedy. Mike Katz, CNN, Dallas. Next up in Dallas and